it's time for something which is more than meets the eye. Although what meets the eye is actually pretty awesome. It's Scott's Tops! Today on Scott's Tops, we take a look at one of my favourite toy lines of all time. Transformers! No, not those Transformers. The good Transformers. The toys, the comics, the cartoons. Not the movies. Bad, Michael Bay. Bad. Anyway, the point is, there are still some pretty damn awesome, badass Transformer characters. And today we're going to look at the five baddest of asses in the entire Transformers mythos. Number five, Sideswipe from Generation 2 specifically. He's a black Lamborghini with red windscreens. That's pretty awesome. And then in robot mode, he's got big guns and knives and grenades and spikes on his wheels. How much more 90s badass can you get in form of one robot? This is at least five years of the entire 90s worth of badassery in one one character. Now Generation 2 pretty much sucked in pretty much every single form, but the point is, when you look at how really badass Sideswipe looks in G2, you gotta go, that's definitely worth a number 5 on the list. Number 4, Megatron, leader of the Decepticons. Yes, he's badass, he's such a badass, he keeps getting beaten by the good guys, yet he keeps being evil in the Marvel comics. He was overthrown by his fellow Decepticons, and he kicked their asses. Sure, he got half his face clawed off, but he kept on fighting. Have you seen Transformers the movie? No, the good one, where he and Optimus Prime have this epic fight, and he ends up all rickety and, oh, it's the end for you, Prime. Megatron is a badass from the fact that he gets his butt kicked so much and just don't learn. Oh, Megatron. Number three. Optimus Prime. Yes, Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots pretty much all the time because nobody has any better ideas of what to put in charge of the Autobots even though he killed him in the original movie and put somebody else in the season three and all that love. But the point is Optimus Prime is the one that everybody knows as leader of the Autobots and he's pretty badass. Again, going back to the 1986 Transformers animated movie, he takes out pretty much half the Decepticons attacking Autobots that he by himself. He's died multiple times in the comics, he's died on the big screen, well pretty much everybody died on the big screen, but the point is it's not really a major Transformers story unless Optimus Prime dies, and yet he keeps coming back, cause Prime just rolls like that, and he's a badass. Number 2, Ratchet. Yes, you've got somebody who's basically an unarmed medic, and this guy has fought Megatron and survived. Ratchet is just a medic, a doctor. He doesn't carry guns, he carries a scalpel and a cryogenic freezer. He, he's not a warrior, and yet his will and his wit has enabled him to fight on when others couldn't do anything else, and he has triumphed through will and wit and uh, yeah, quite a bit of luck too. But the point is, Ratchet is a badass. He's a doctor, and he don't take no guff. And the number one badass Transformer of all time is Impactor. Who? Yes, a lot of you who don't know the comics probably won't know who Impactor is, but that's no excuse. Impactor is supremely badass. Originating from the Transformers UK comics, Impactor was introduced as basically a character that they could kill off just to show how bad the bad guys were. But then he came back as a zombie and then saved the planet again. He died twice. He died as a cool-ass Transformer Autobot Commando and as a cool-ass Transformer Autobot Zombie! How more badass can you get than that? Autobots, roll out! And so that's my list of the top five badass Transformers of all time. I think that you should actually like, you should comment, you should subscribe, and you should share this with your friends. Because why? Because you're a badass too! You know why you're a badass? Because you're watching me, and I'm a badass, and we're all about badasses and transformers! Now let's roll out! Yay.